You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm gonna check out the Sassafras ice cream maker. Now I had shown this on a video probably six months ago, a bunch of makers, and this was one of them. And I'm getting to it today because, you know, it's winter and we just had our first snow and I thought, hey, good time to make ice cream in my Sassafras ice cream maker from 2008. Couple interesting things about this unit. One, you could either make two flavors or one flavor, depending on how ambitious you are. Two, it runs on batteries, but it actually eventually ends up in the freezer, the complete unit. So let's see. Makes two flavors at once, no rock salt needed. So you're not doing what we've done in the past with the rock salt, the ice, and then you mix those together with a little water and uh, it spins in a chamber and then the ice cream's on the inside and that's on the outside and it makes it really cold. That's why you put it in the freezer. Let's see here, let's look at this first. Battery operated, makes homemade ice cream in under five hours, makes two flavors at one time, includes sherbet, excuse me, sherbet, sorbet, and ice cream recipes. We will talk about that in just a minute because I printed something out from the internet to help us all out about pronunciations. I know people are gonna lose it, but let's just stick to the ice cream maker. This clever ice cream maker is ideal for kids and adults alike. You'll find that making ice cream is a great afternoon kids project and mom and dad will love it for their next dinner party's dessert that makes delicious sorbets, sherbets, and ice cream and is also easy to use. All right, we will see. I'll get that on the box in a second. Let's fix, let's figure out the pronunciation thing because this is from the internet and we all know the internet is always right. No, it's not, just kidding. This says sherbet, pronounced sherbet, is the usual word for the frozen sweet dessert made from fruit or fruit juices. Sherbert, with an additional R in the second syllable and pronounced sherbert, is a less commonly used, is less commonly used in Britain Sherbet or sherbet, I've never heard of sherbet, but you know, it's the internet, is a sweet powder used to make a drink bubbly or eaten by itself. Okay, so if you want to argue about it in the old description area, go ahead. I am. I will refrain from any more of that. Let's just get to the maker. Okay, cute little maker, huh? And there was this sheet. Let's see what it says. Actually, let's just take it apart. Let's do this. We'll come back to it. Okay, so here's the two. It makes quite a bit of ice cream. If you look at this side and this side, it's almost like a little dog bowl. You can put your dog food there or your cat food and your water. No, just kidding. And then I need four double A's. Well, let's just see if it works before I go any further. So let me get those. I'll come back. We'll test it. And then I'll read you their little story. Okay, let's see. So you can actually watch it spinning. That's cool. These glass or plastic pieces don't come out. There's a freeze and a mix. And then here's where the batteries go. Okay, so that's probably gotta be that way. Oh, interesting battery compartment here. Looks like they go this way. Wait, this way back here. That's a little confusing battery section there. Okay. And then this way going here. We'll know as soon as it turns on or not. There we go. I really don't like that battery compartment, I gotta tell you. Mix. Ooh, it works. Ooh. Let's just see what kind of pressure it has. Okay, so it, it's actually got a lot of pressure and then freeze. What does freeze do? It doesn't light up. It just says freeze off, freeze on, but no light. Maybe it lights up when it's done. Oh, it just lit up. Okay, so something's going on there. There it goes. It's a dead light. So it can mix and freeze at the same time, I guess. All right, let's put that in there. That's pretty cool. I'll have to wash that. So I'll do that off camera and come back. All right, let's see. When it's sunny and hot and you want to be cool, you could go play outside or dip in the pool. But there's another fun thing you and your friends can do. Make ice cream. It's more fun than playing a kazoo. First, you need to find the shiny pots or pans. You almost could use an old tin soup can. Don't want to use an old tin soup can. Next, you need to find someone older and smart who can help you make ice cream. It's really an art. 
First pour in the whipping cream and sugar and stuff and stir it a little, but don't be too rough. Then have someone older turn the stove to medium high and heat up the soupy mix. You don't need to know why. When the ice cream is quite hot, just before it's boiled, remove from the heat. Don't get anything soiled. Get help pouring the mixture, whatever you've made, into the ice cream maker. It's hot, so make sure you've got some aid. I don't think I've ever heated up the ice cream mix before. Maybe in one set a while back. Push the mix button and let it whir and whirl until everything you cooked has mixed in a swirl. Then push the freeze button and into the freezer it goes. So does, push the mix button and let it whir and whirl until everything you cooked has mixed in a swirl. Then push the freeze button into the freezer it goes. It takes about four hours until the ice cream has froze. This is very confusing, so you have not turned it off. It doesn't tell you to turn it off. Now open the freezer for an amazing surprise. The ice cream is perfect, and here's a word to the wise. Better eat it right now, because if you leave even a smidge, the ice cream monsters will attack and raid the fridge. And in the end, your friends will scream, more, more, more! Mr. Baskin and Mr. Robbins might even come to your ice cream store. Okay, I'm a little confused now. Let's see. Okay, so chocolate frosty. That actually sounds pretty good. I've never made a chocolate frosty. Uh, vanilla ice cream, raspberry, raspberry sorbet, and orange sherbet, or sherbet. I'm going to make this one. Now, I was going to make this one and this one, and then I thought, well, that's just way too much to cut all these recipes, cut the recipes in half, because this makes one side, this will make the other side. So let me just make this, see if it works before I make more later. Let's see, combine orange juice and sugar. Stirring until sugar dissolves, add half and half and salt. Mix well, fold whipping cream in a mixture. Okay, color will be pale orange. Stir in red and yellow food coloring. I decided I'm not going to do food coloring. I don't want to add that to create a bright orange color. Negative. Pour half a mixture into each side of ice cream maker. Press the mix button to mix for 30 seconds. Press the, press the mix button. Oh, so it only mix for 30 seconds? <laughs> Uh, and place in freezer for four hours. When sherbet is just set, no liquid in center, transfer to a container and store in freezer. Let's stand at room temperature five to ten minutes before serving makes about one pint. Let's see, it shows a rabbit, a panda, a Martian, a hedgehog, and a snowman. You can use the ice cream you make to create different Sunday... Sunday designs. Use fruit, nuts, berries, candy-coated chocolate sandwiches, cookies, or licorice sticks. Invite your friends over and have an ice cream social. Create all sorts of delicious, edible works of art. Oh, Sassafras Enterprises is in Chicago, Illinois. All right, so I don't get it now. I'm already confused. Why, 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 why? So whipping cream I got, orange juice I got, sugar I got, half and half I got. A pinch of salt is all I really need to get started. So let me gather the supplies, come back, wash that. And I'm just gonna let it run there. We'll see what happens. You wanna you wanna be bored to see if the next 10 seconds it shuts off? Let's see. Shut off in 30 seconds. And then hit the freeze. Now that didn't light up. Let's just see what happens. It's pretending to be in the freezer now. So it must just have a fidgety light. Then about 20 seconds, 18, 19, 20. I wonder if it shuts off and then goes every 30 seconds? I don't know. Yeah, 
you must turn it off because eventually if this starts to freeze, it's gonna break. So you would turn it off, it goes to freeze. So basically it's not like churning ice cream. Like ice cream, you really just want it to spin, 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 spin. But because it's just sitting in the freezer, basically it's mixed for 30 seconds and then you just freeze it. Uh, seems quite simple. I mean, why would you even want to keep the lid on and get this all covered in ice cream, clean it off and I don't know. We're gonna follow the rules and instructions, but uh, all right, let me come back with the supplies. Okay. Got everything I need. Now the heated one was this uh, strawberry. I had to rinse this bowl. It was sitting on the shelf and got a little dusty. And look, the paddles come out really nice. Nice and easy. Okay, paddles coming out. I pressed this before I started washing everything on freeze. I just don't get it. Here, listen. It says, press the mix button to mix for 30 seconds. Period. Not a comma. So period means just mix it for 30 seconds and then stop. So I, it doesn't make any sense. So what's really happening is this is just sitting in the freezer, right? Yeah. Now I've pressed this and this, but it doesn't. See, now the lights are working. So you have to make sure, I guess. I don't know. I never Googled it to see anybody else use this machine. All right, so let's get our mixing bowl. It said uh, do the, oh, here's what happened. I was gonna do the raspberry sorbet and then it said uh, two 10 ounce packages, frozen whole raspberries, which I can find no problem in syrup thawed. I didn't have anything like that. Even I went to the store, nothing. Two thirds, okay, combine orange juice and sugar. Okay, so two thirds cup orange juice. That's on this side. I figure there's no real reason for me to add food coloring, right? First, I don't want that in my system. And second, what does it matter? Color. Okay. Okay, I really need that. And then this was scaled out already. The sugar, that's uh, a third of a cup of sugar. Let's just use my, oh look. See, it's an easy bag video. Stirring until sugar is dissolved. All right, so that could give us a little time to talk. So this one, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna do half side of this and half side of that. And then I thought, oh boy, I'd have to cut everything in half. This one requires heat gelatin, um, packaged raspberries and syrup, so I would have had to make that. And you know, I like to go above and beyond, but then I thought, well, I'm already confused, so why not just make one flavor, see how it works, and then we'll go from there. But since it's got to sit in the freezer for what, four hours? That's a long time. In fact, it's probably gonna sit in longer because it's already late and I'll just do it when I uh, do it in the morning. So we'll see how it turns out. It might just be one lumpy frozen thing. Okay, orange juice and sugar until sugar's out. Add half and half and salt. This is the half and half. Okay, now it just got light again. So now that's why they wanted you to add the coloring and a pinch. Is that a pinch? Everybody's like so confused on a pinch, but. That's probably close to a pinch. Color will be pale orange, it is. Stir in the food coloring mix. Hmm. All right, what's going on here? Oh, fold the whipping cream in. Okay, so add the half and half, then fold the whipping cream. The whipping cream is two cups. Oh, wow. That is, this is a two cupper, yes. Really, fold in. This looks like way more liquid than what that is. Okay, fold.
Okay, then add your food coloring. Then pour half of the mixture inside of each of them. Half in one, half in the other. Okay. Here, let's get you this perspective. See, that freeze button's been on now for quite a while, and nothing. It's not doing anything, so... I don't know, maybe it's telling it something. I have no idea. It makes zero sense to me. I really don't want to pour it this way. Let me do this one this way, and so if it spills over... Okay, we're good. Half in there. Happy with that? I am very happy. Okay, let's clean this off. All right. Okay, now that you did that, pour half, okay. Now it doesn't say put the lid on. It just says press the mix button. So let's do this for 30 seconds. Oh, set the timer. That's just a short time. Let's see, timer 30. Oh no, I hit hours. 30 seconds, come on, come on. Okay, let's just look inside. We only have 30 seconds to look inside. And action. Okay, seven seconds. Stop. Press the freeze button and place in freezer for four hours. Okay. I'll be back. It'll be longer than four hours, but let's see how it turns out. All right, a quick interruption into the video before I bring my maker back in. This is the Sweet Treat Ice Cream Set. I thought it'd be fun. It's been sitting around and I've been wanting to show it on a video. It includes four double wall ice cream dishes and matching spoons. Let's see, I'll have to wash it. There's no other information on the box. But I thought I'd put my sorbet, sorbet, all, uh, well, I'll just use one of them, but it's kind of neat because the cups look like cones and even the, see, look that dirty spoon. I will have to clean that. And then they have matching colors, or you could just kind of mix up the colors too. So that's a fun little set. Let me uh, go wash it now, and then when I come back, I'll have my maker on. Now, remember, I was supposed to keep checking. Well, I'll check it at some point when the sherbet is set, no liquid in center. I was supposed to transfer to a container and store in freezer, but uh, you know, it was too late. It would have been in the AM. So I'm gonna have to let it soften and I'll just take it apart and work it right out of the uh, mixer itself. All right, I'll be back. All right, this is a check-in now. It's been about a half hour. Now look at the button on there. It's no longer red, it turned yellow. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's when you're supposed to take the lid off. Now, it is still pretty solid, but I'm pretty sure because the paddles are removable, that's what it looks like underneath, they just pop right out. So will I be able to move these in a half hour of sitting? Uh, no. So I'm gonna let this sit a little longer. Let me just see if I can scoop some out, you know? Oh, I can. And it does have a Sorbet, sorbet, sherbet, 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 whatever you want to call it, kind of feel to it. I'm going to give it another, say, 15 minutes. It's soft, but it's not soft enough to pull these out. So this is what you're not supposed to do, but it's still going to work, and I'm still going to be able to give it a taste. And I think it's designed this way. So if you do leave it in longer, you just pop it all off and then let it sit on the counter and just enjoy it. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's been another, say, 20 minutes, and it's, oh, oh wait a minute. Look at that, the whole thing turns. Maybe I could just 
take the whole thing out. Actually, you know what I could do? Let me just heat this up, right? Put this in like a little bowl of warm water or something, and then it should just slide right out. Let's do that. All right, it's been maybe 10 minutes. Let's just see if this pulls out. And it does. There, see, that wasn't that painful. Let's get this out of here. So I think it's ready too, because it's been sitting for quite a while. Let's get this all mopped up here. Let's see if this one comes out. Ooh, maybe the whole thing will just pop out. Let us see. Okay, so this one, there we go. Needs a little work. Okay, remember, this is not what they want you to do. They want you to have that out already before the ice cream sets. Although, this is not ice cream, but you know what I'm saying. It's an ice cream maker. Okay, I've double checked all of my steps, made sure I did everything right for the sherbet. So let me see here. Let me put this, well, you know what? Let me get a rag here, hold on. All right, I wanted to get some paper towel that I had, oh, look at that. That's actually scooping pretty good. I put, decided to put it in the orange one for obvious reasons, right? That makes a nice scoop and it's a good consistency now. Now I was thinking, is there a topping you'd put on this? Like if you're eating ice cream, you'd put whipped cream or some other topping. So as I was saying, toppings, what would you put? On a sherbet. I don't know. Let's take a close look down here at it. It's a perfect consistency, I think. Let me move everything out of the way. I have quite a bit to eat. There's plenty in there. It's a nice size container of ice cream. Yes, the orange is a perfect color. All right, let's get a taste here. Here we go. Mmm. It's not like super orange flavor. You get that initial very cold, mmm, I'm eating something cold kind of feeling in your mouth. But I don't get a lot of taste of orange per se. I'm not sure how to increase that. Maybe like an essential oil orange, an edible one, something like that. All right, well, nothing else I could do except keep eating. I'm gonna say overall, it's an interesting little ice cream maker. And yeah, you could just make two batches and freeze something in there very easily. Right, one more bite. It's got a really nice consistency. And it's smooth. And yeah, it does not have like an ice cream feel. It's not that smooth. It's still a little crystallized. I think that's what I want to say. So overall, sassafras is pretty good especially if you want to uh, make it that's quick throw it in the freezer you don't have to sit there with the ice and salt and all that and you could just kind of let it do its thing and then there's my little sweet treat ice cream set that kind of covers uh, most of what I have in ice cream makers but overall I had fun showing it to you hopefully you had fun watching it and thanks for watching let me know what you think Sherbert, Sherbet, all that stuff. Just be kind, be nice. What flavor would you have made? How's that? That's a good question. What flavor would you have made? And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Show. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.